What is up, everybody? Welcome to Team Amazion Presents Speak Nerdy to Me. My name is Ann Campia, one half of Team Amazion, and joining me to my right is the other half of Team Amazion. Hello. Take. Hello, half. Hello, guys. Hello. And together we make Team Amazion. And like I said, we're here to do a special edition, actually, of Speak Nerdy to, to Me. Normally, for Speak Nerdy to Me, we do relationship advice and we take questions, which you guys are all amazing for submitting those to us. But we thought the timing couldn't be more perfect to do a special edition last minute Valentine's Day gift ideas. Um, for those of you who are still trying to figure out what you should do for Valentine's Day, we've got some thoughts on that. And we thought, what better time and what, what better way to get our thoughts out there than to turn this edition of Speak Nerdy to Me into a special edition Valentine's Day. So we're going to present some reliable and thoughtful gift ideas and other things that you can do for your spouse, for your loved one, whomever you want to spend Valentine's Day with. Um, and we hope that you guys will enjoy what we have in store for you. Mm -hmm. um, for those of you, I apologize, for those of you who are already well into Valentine's Day, I hope this is not too late for most of you. But for some of you, you might already be in that day for international fans. So I hope you're enjoying your day nonetheless. So first of all, Kaori, I think we have here uh, one which I really like because it reminds me of childhood, which is create your own valentine's day card who said you have to go to the store and p spend five dollars on a card that somebody else wrote for your loved one why not make it yourself what do you think i i completely agree i think actually making a card is a lot more thoughtful because you are putting your heart and time into it it doesn't have to be crazy or super embellished but it's nice to have your own thoughts go onto paper and it, trust me she will appreciate it and love it no matter what it looks like <laughs> yes yes i totally agree i love this idea mm -hmm. um okay so the next thing that we have here is actually do some chores for your loved one. Oh yeah i mean this after a stressful week i think this would be the perfect gift for somebody who just doesn't have the time to clean to do the dishes to care for your dog as we saw in that picture um just some of those simple things to kind of relieve the stress of the day it's uh cheap it just takes a little bit of t uh, uh, work and time on your part and i think somebody would really really appreciate this i i agree how amazing would it be um i mean imagine if it was the world reversed you came home and the place was super clean and tidy like already when you aesthetically when you come home to a clean place you just feel good right so you, of course you want to make her feel very special on valentine's day i think cleaning and doing some chores is a very inexpensive way but very 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 um functional way of showing her how much you appreciate her and how much you care and how much you want to make her happy i think it's spot on it's really good all right so the next idea that we've got for you guys <laughs> and this is kind of a dream man right here i think <laughs> from the, this graphic we pulled is um i think that we for this one we were talking about drive your girl or guy around right mm -hmm. um why don't you get into more details about this one i i, I like the idea of um su surprising her and having her like moving front forward about the chores thing having her not really worry about any of the daily stresses and i you know we live in la and la is actually kind of a stressful place to drive around in traffic so ideally it would be great if you can drive her to work and pick her up from work or drive her to see the sunset or the sunrise just drive her around have her not worry about any of those things because driving her to work and driving her back from work that happened to me last year that was amazing i mean it, it sounds like such a small little uh action but it was it was it just it meant a lot to me because it just really alleviated just started my day off right and ended my day off right so i like that yeah i i i do like that a lot too especially like you said living out in la that would be so nice to mm -hmm. not have to worry about that one other thing that we have to do, which is get on these busy highways that we have here. Mm -hmm. All right. So the next one we have, and I think this is if you want to splurge a little, but I think we can also make this a gift that can be quite cheap as well. A couple's massage, which I think you can go out and pay for, or you can actually um, be intimate and do this at home 
with each other. I, I think agree. either either way, it could be a, a very expensive gift or a very cheap gift for you. Um, again, another stress reliever. I think massages are great. I think if you haven't had one, you need to go get your butt into a massage uh, place so that you could try it because it works wonders on your body. And what better way to spend Valentine's Day than to be relaxed and then be in good company? Yeah, really. no, I completely agree with you. And you know, there are some great deals um, for last uh, for massages on Groupon, Living Social, and it doesn't have to be on Valentine's Day. You can tell her like, "I want this massage. Let, let me know when you want to go." So the Valentine's Day can be extended. Also, you know, you can be cute and make a little coupon book, and one of them coupons will be free massage, and you can hook her up with a massage, especially if you got some sexy hands. So, hey, <laughs> okay. The next one. Speaking of being creative, uh, we got. What looks like a nice little I love you scrapbook going on here. Uh, Kaori, do you want to talk about this one? Yeah, I'm uh, bouncing off of being creative, making coupons, making cards. I like the idea of making a photo album about the year you spent together um, or how happy she makes you or what what um, reminds how she makes you feel. Like These are very sappy things, but we eat it up as much as we like to pretend we don't because I pretend I don't, but then I don't but i do okay anyway see <laughs> denial um yeah so definitely if you use your creativity we appreciate it no matter how creative or uncreative you may be do something like that and again it's inexpensive you just have to be a little bit creative and for those of you who don't feel like you have a creative uh, gene in your body you can just pick out some pictures that you've taken throughout the year i'm sure you have a few and send it over to your local uh, Walgreens or mm -hmm. CVS and they do those photo books for really cheap and they can print them, I think, probably within a day. I don't think it takes that long to put those things together. Yeah, and even for just a little bit of ex a little bit of extra, you can actually get it done within the hour. It might be a little longer because it's Valentine's Day, so you can just expedite it till the end of day or something, but you can probably get it done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. And so for those of you who want to be a little more romantic, um, and a little more economically um, savvy, you could go with watching the sunset together. Mm -hmm. I think both of us actually brought this up when we were trying to come up with these ideas because both of us thought it was a brilliant idea. Um, your timing has to be right, though, because you have to figure out when the sun is going to set and um, probably a good location for you guys to watch it. But as long as you put a little bit of thought into how you're going to put this together, I think going out to watch the sunset can be, can be as easy as walking outside of your front door. Um, and it's really romantic. I mean, I know I don't know anyone who hasn't, said this would was a great experience those that have experienced it i i concur um and let's not forget the sunrise the power of the sunrise is also beautiful so if you have um an alarm that can wake you up early and you can do it it'd be nice to go watch the sunrise as well and or <laughs> or both yeah if you yeah mm -hmm. start the day and end the day together mm -hmm. in beauty all right and the last thing we have here is um what i think I would totally love is oh, look at him. He's hot just because of that. I know. <laughs> and look what he's making. He perfectly cooked the the meat right here. <laughs> um, is uh, cooking for your loved one. Um, what can I say? I think it's classic. It's it's the classic thing you can do. It's inexpensive. You could go to the grocery store and just buy some cheap things that you can make. Uh, you don't have to be a gourmet chef to be able to cook something. I mean, get some things that you're comfortable with. Maybe you can only do eggs and that's what you make. I mm -hmm. mean, but that's okay. It's a thought that counts in this one. I've even seen, and we've seen it in TV shows and movies where they put all this thought into making a dish or making a Valentine's Day meal and everything burns or everything mm -hmm. catches on fire. And you know what? It's really funny, but it's also very cute because you know that this person put a lot of thought into it. Whether you end up with a burnt turkey or whatever, that's okay because still the per your spouse or whomever will appreciate that. Oh yeah, I would I would eat shit if my man made me shit. Well, maybe not, but <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say is I would uh, appreciate that so much if um, for Valentine's Day I was being cooked a meal instead of cooking the meal, which is very, very refreshing. It's an old time classic, but it never, never fails. And that's why it's been around and been so successful throughout all the years. Um, but and I wanted to also bring up, if, uh, if, if I may, 
the idea of getting a subscription box. I know we talked oh. about it for Christmas, yes. but mm -hmm. I think it's always a great idea for Valentine's Day or any holiday. Um, like a Loot Crate, if you're a geek, mm -hmm. uh, you've got a beauty box for her if she likes makeup and beauty boxes are actually really cheap right now um fantasy box if you guys want to do some nookie stuff oh. and a bark box for a dog <laughs> yeah yeah no uh, every woman loves if you can treat her pet mm -hmm. like a, a queen or a king that they deserve to be um there's also like other interesting ones like uh the nature box that has mm -hmm. some healthier snacks maybe your your uh, loved one is a fitness a geek or something mm -hmm. um but there's there's boxes for every type of personality and every interest and it's the gift that keeps on giving especially yep. if you go for a three month or six month subscription yeah so i I've, i'm always like all about those those boxes so cool. yeah so that will do it for all of our ideas and i'll go on a just a very 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 quick soapbox about valentine's day because personally valentine's day sucks why <laughs> because it sets up so many expectations for people uh we see it in movies we see it on tv shows uh we see we see it all around co-workers whatever and there there are expectations when it comes to valentine's day and it's really unfair i think um that that, that we've set this day that's supposed to be a holiday but i think really think it's a hallmark holiday um, for us to show each other that we love each other. But really, every day, you should be showing your loved ones that you care. So while we're giving these ideas to you, you don't have to just consider uh, doing these ideas tomorrow on Valentine's Day. Consider them year-round. If you love somebody, these things should be happening all the time. And one last thing, flip it around, too. I mean, the expectation has always been that the guy has to treat the girl because obviously the girl's expectations are usually higher than a man's on Valentine's Day. But it doesn't mean that the woman can treat her man out and flip it around and buy the flowers for him or whatever it is that you want to do. I mean, make it your day. If you're going to do something on Valentine's Day, make it your special day, not because it's Valentine's Day, but because you guys love each other. Kaori? Yeah, you know, hopping off that, I agree with you. Valentine's Day does kind of suck. Um, because, yes, the expectations are there. And if you're single, even as much as you're saying you don't care, it's always like, oh, Valentine's Day, Valentine's Day. There's hearts everywhere and all that stuff. Hey, just a reminder that you're single. And just a reminder that everyone is in traffic having dinner and getting paid and being pampered, but you're not. Or other being in a relationship sometimes like the expectations are escalated on that day so yeah valentine's day can in fact suck um but also hopping off the other one that i agree with you it's interesting because in japan valentine's day actually is a man giving to a woman and a month later is um march 14th it's white day and it's the woman giving to a man so that's interesting and i also heard the rumor about SBJ Day for you men. Tell me if that's true. Leave a comment there. Have you heard of that rumor? What is that? A month later, after Valentine's Day, a woman has to give a man's steak and a blowjob. SBJ Day. What? <laughs> yes. Why? Am I late to this? Either that or uh, <laughs> the guys I date have uh, made up something that I... <laughs> little gullible here. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I don't know what to follow <laughs> that with. That is hilarious. I know. But yes, if you guys start to comment on, uh, in this in, under this video that that is actually a real thing, then I'm just late to the game. And uh, yeah, you you better hop on that. Yeah. <laughs> What's the date again? Let me put that on my calendar here. Okay. And uh, also uh, l leave a comment and tell us what gifts you think uh, are good for her so you can help each other out or tell us what you would like from a girl because we want to also know what guys like and you know what would be cool too is post valentine's day if you guys really did anything special you'd like to share with us we'll yeah. call it out in our next uh, speak nerdy to me mm -hmm. and be, feel free as always to uh, drop some questions um, situations email team amazion at gmail.com and let us know because we will be responding to you in our next video and Kaori, where can they follow you? Uh, you can find me right here. There we go. <laughs> Kaori is K-A-O-R-I-O-U-S. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Flipped it too oh, fast. Oh, I see how it is. <laughs> 
All right. Well, you guys get. I should. I should talk while this shots on you, and you can follow me <laughs> at Ann Campia. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and you can follow both of us at Team Amazion. As always, we love all of your comments. We're looking forward to seeing what you think about this video and our upcoming Speak Nerdy to Me edition. So definitely leave questions. Your continue to leave your questions, comments, and all of that good stuff, and we'll bring them up on our next video. So until next time, everybody, and Campia, Kaori Take, Team Amazion. We'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.